This video shall guide you through the process of how to complete the DME Sport Trips and Events form. This is the form to use whenever your club is looking to organise any club trips, events or enter one-off competitions. An event is an activity that either the club are organising on or off campus or a competitive event that is being organised by an external organisation the club is wishing to take part in. This activity will be outside of your normal sport club activity and may include multiple elements such as catering, external companies, transport or spectators. A trip is defined as an external visit to any activity organised by the club that is in addition to your regular club training. The link to the online form can be found on the Sport Club Hub Blackboard module under Handbooks and Forms and scrolling down to the Events and Trips Registration form. It's important to note that any request we receive through this process will ideally be submitted as early as possible before the date of the event or trip. There can be many elements to seek approval of and process through this, so as much lead time as possible can ensure that we can support you to get the process completed in time. As such, we ask the form to be submitted three weeks ahead of any activity. So, working through the form, the first page is simply asking for some basic details so Demi Sport can contact you upon receiving the form. Then select next. We now select whether we are completing this for an event or a trip with the definitions there to support. On this occasion, we'll go for an event. Now we start looking at gathering the details of the event, providing necessary forms and the information that is for the relevant bookings to be made upon approval. So we can put the name of the event, the date of the event may be taking place and where the event is take, taking place. Have you booked the required facilities? So this gives an indication here if everything has already been booked and secured, or if not, we click no. We can then submit a facility request form. So this may be for DMU facilities, or it may be for external facilities. And there's a separate video creator to guide you through that facility request form process. We then also ask just to give you an idea of how you want that to be funded with the facilities. Moving on, we then look at, does the event require transport to be booked? Now, if it's on DMU campus, clearly not, but actually if it's off campus, it may be yes, in which case we then ask for a transport request form to be completed and uploaded to this form. Again, a separate video is being created to help you through with this process if needed, but we'll click no for now. Also requiring accommodation for your event. Similarly, again, yes, no, or maybe, we'll select no for this one. What are your full plans for the event? And so this is now where kind of you can go into detail about exactly what is intended with the event you have planned, giving an idea of time frames of what the day will look like, and just to give that bigger picture um, to the DME Sport. As we continue, just asking if this can be a one-off or delivered again in the future. So we'll just do this as a one-off. And then approximately how many people do you expect to attend? So I've just inputted 20 there. This then goes in for some perhaps some bigger events that you're looking to organise as a club. Are you working with any external companies to deliver? Yes or no. Are you working with any other student group? Yes or no. And are you expecting to have an external guest at the event? Yes, no, or maybe. Clicking yes opens up different options for many of these and the separate forms that must be completed in order to go through that process. There's also there a simple question of if you have a coach in place, have they approved the plans event? We just want to make sure that they align with um, the club coaches' ideas around the training programmes and schedules and making sure that that conversation has been had. And then finally, there's the option here to be able to upload a completed risk assessment for your event. This is required for everything that we have inputted on here to be able to submit the form. And there is a separate video being created to support you with that process. So once a risk assessment has been inputted and uploaded onto this form, we can then complete next. And we're on to the final page. So this now is just putting down availability for yourself for when you are available to organise a follow-up meeting. When you hit submit on this form, this shall be processed by a member of the DME Sport team to begin conversations with colleagues and also your committee around approval for the activity and also what funding may be available for the club's access. 
in order to be able to reach that final decision. It may be that we need to have a conversation with yourself just to gather a few additional details or to go back and forth to update maybe the risk assessment or the transport request form. So this just lets us know your availability to be able to have those conversations. If at any time through this process you have any questions, please get in touch with the staff at DME Sport and we'll be happy to support. Thanks very much.